So in this video, I'll explain how to control and how to set standard parameters for your GPT workspace formulas. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing we'll do is open the sidebar as explained in the previous video. So what we'll do here is if you're confused about any formula, you can always find the tutorial here. So have for every single formula, you'll see uh, a small GIF explaining how it works as well as examples that you can copy to try them out. All right, so now what we're going to do is check how to set standard parameters for your formulas. You have two parameters here, which is the model. So in the case you want a standard model, which is uh, cheap and fast, you can use GPT-40 Mini. Uh, it, will, it's, it has less reasoning, less uh, knowledge, but uh, it's also cheaper and faster, and it's good for some tasks like data extraction. If you want a good reasoning, in the case you want to write articles or descriptions or SEO tags, stuff like that, you want to use a more uh, advanced model like GPT-40. So here I'm setting by default all my cells to use GPT-40 from now on. Another parameter you can use is the temperature. Instead of having to input the temperature every time here, I can simply I can simply add it uh, by default for each cell, uh, either in creative mode or in precise mode. Finally, we have the output tokens. So the output tokens will indicate the AI how like the maximum length of the answer. So if you want the answer to be very long. So for example, you're writing articles, you want to have a very large output token, uh, very large output token. Um, if you want the, if you want to create poems like haikus or just uh, a simple description, you want to put your uh, output tokens to a smaller, to a smaller, uh, smallest amount, to smallest value. Anyway, so this is about the formula settings. It helps you basically um, find a good, a good set of parameters that you can then use for every single generation. Now let's go over the formulas controls. The formula controls will allow you to do two things, either forced or recomposition. So let's imagine I'm not happy about this uh, IQU. I would like to regenerate it. So I can say, hey, um, refresh the range. So here, to refresh the selection, which is P3. Let's try it. And it will also automatically reload the um, other um, cells that depend on, out of it. But it will generate a new, um, different uh, poem. Uh, so this is the case where you're not happy and you want to create a new generation. Uh, another thing you can do, uh, we can um, decide to freeze uh, freeze ranges. So, for example, uh, I want I'm happy with the translation here. I can click on freeze range, and this will go from having the formula inside of the cell of having just the data. It will replace the formula with the data. So here, you can freeze the range. And here, instead of having the, the cell, the GPT translate, we just have the data. So you can do multiple at once, like this, or you can decide to freeze all the cells. All right, so that's it for the different settings and controls of the GPT formulas. I will see you in the next videos for advanced GPT formulas.